Welcome one, welcome all, and welcome to Friday Fright Time, where every week, I, Connor, along with my trusty sidekicks, Coffee and Stew, dissect horror movies from throughout history, tearing our favourite, most memorable moments to pieces. This week, Stew's taking a little bit of time off from the show, so you're getting your first two-man episode between myself and Coffee. How are you doing this Hello. week, mate? Yes! Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just, honestly, I'm more confused than I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> I swear down, like, I this is, I just don't understand. I was about to say, mate, like, <laughs> what are we now, 12 episodes in? And, you know, Plan 9 was a bit of a head fuck, wasn't it? <laughs> but, like, I'm, I'm 25, you're older than me, and we've been watching films, like, all our life. Films of all ages, films from all over the world. Have you ever seen a film that has fucked with your brain as much as this film? There's not a chance in the world, mate. <laughs> this is the, the strangest film I've ever seen in my life, and, you know, like, we've seen films like The Human Centipede. Oh, yeah. I mean, The Human Centipede's got a plot for a start. Well, yeah, fair one. Very fair one. This has absolutely nothing to go on whatsoever. Ever. To try and explain the plot, so this <laughs> film takes place in a world where human beings have evolved like the same as they have anyway. Like technology is <laughs> the same and houses are the same. Literally everything. Everything's the same apart from they still communicate like primates. Just grunting. Yeah, everyone grunts, everyone punches things. <laughs> <laughs> Just... It's so strange. Like, I, I don't even understand how, like, what happens, you know, right at the beginning. It starts with the two men. Where are they? They're in, like, some sort of forest. They're, like, walking through the woods or something, aren't they? Yeah, walking through the woods and then, and then they're sat down and one man decides to just start tapping the other guy's legs <laughs> just just sat there just on his on his legs <laughs> And he's, he's like, he's not reacting to it whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, they pick out a picture of a woman, throw it on the floor, and the guy getting his legs tapped starts pissing on it. Yeah. <laughs> just emotionally crying. He's just crying his eyes out, pissing on this picture. And then the second guy grabs a piece of tissue while the camera full on focuses on the guy's knob. Yeah. And he just gives him a little tap to dry him off. And, and then they walk off. Oh, no, they don't. Before they do that, he gets a wedding... He pulls his wedding ring off. Oh, God, yeah. And just launches it into a bush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that, as an opening scene, is both the best and worst <laughs> opening scene I have ever seen in uh, film. It, did, it set a precedent for the film, really, because they're just like... <gasps> 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 <laughs> oh my god and then yeah like they're walking back home or something and like one of them starts shagging a tree <laughs> <laughs> like just we're now five minutes into this film <laughs> I don't know what's going on. We, we go into uh, someone's kitchen, and uh, this is one of my highlights. The cooking program on the telly. Oh, God, <laughs> yeah. What, what is happening? There's a woman got her tits out for no reason yeah. on the TV, <laughs> just cooking. And they're watching it, like, really intently, aren't they, as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, it's like, uh, it's not exactly Nigella, but, you know, it, go <laughs> it does the trick. And there's, like, this, this dead goat on a plate. It's just completely <laughs> dismembered. <laughs> And then like, the instructions is to just pour absolutely gallons of oil into a pan. <laughs> um, yeah. Then my favourite bit was just one of the women in the kitchen just picks up like a joint of beef or something and just starts smacking it off the wall. <laughs> so it just switches to a scene where there's like, I, I don't even know the actor's name, you know the guy who gets the TV? The guy with the long blonde hair, is it by any chance? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, so he just gets a new TV and he's like pulling the plastic off it. He looks in the TV and he starts like pausing to himself, doesn't he? He's got like his mate to try and set the telly up or something and it's like <laughs> yeah. he's not setting it up properly or something so he just starts going absolutely <laughs> mental and just starts <laughs> like... smacking it. <laughs> he starts off like he's looking at the TV, pausing at it, and then his friend just arrives, crawling in the fucking room for no reason. And then he's like in this whatever language, just going, huh, ha, huh, pointing at the TV because it doesn't work. And then his friend, you know, the good guy, decides to start fixing the TV while he's sat watching him and he's just pinging popcorn off him. <laughs> yeah, just pinging popcorn him. off his back. And then the, the, his friend turns around, like, angry. And then he, the guy throwing popcorn just starts savagely beating his friend on the ground. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, oh, hey, Dave, man, I've come round to set your fucking telly up. You're kicking the shit out of us. What are you doing? Know, oh, my God. And then, like, when after they've set the TV up with his mate, they start playing this, like, motorbike, like, VR oh, game. Oh, my God. But it's, like, actual handlebars of a bike. <laughs> yeah. Like, full-on, like, motion sensor, like, off a chopper. Like, handlebars. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why is this not a thing? <laughs> and then we get dragged into the TV as well, don't we? We get to, like, be the game. Yeah. <laughs> the audience is, is in the game for a few minutes. It's like fucking Ready Player One, but... <laughs> They're all like having dinner in the sitting room as well. And they're just like passing around this absolutely massive plate. And it's just got salt on it. It's just <laughs> salt. Nothing else. It's like a fucking kilo. It's like a brick of salt. They start teasing the, the girl because of her food skills, don't they? They're like sat down eating food or laughing at her like, ha 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 And then she notices and just smashes the fucking living room up. Oh yeah. Don't they start like throwing kids? Take it off each other and salt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Start launching salt. Oh, Jesus it's Christ. It's like a full-on, How? like, brawl ensues for no reason whatsoever. I know, and then man, the, it's, the it's... next scene, oh, my God, girl dancing in a field suddenly has an itchy <laughs> fanny, so pours vodka <laughs> onto it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> And then we get Noel Field in. He comes in. When I started the film, I never really watch. I never look at like the plots or anything. I kind of don't like spoilers and stuff. So I, I just clicked play. And like this whole time I'm watching this film, like I don't really recognize anyone. Then all of a sudden I'm like, fucking Noel Field yeah. is in this. What the <laughs> hell? What is going on? And it's like the, some the girls from earlier, like Vodka Funny Girl goes in <laughs> and they're trying to start like stealing things. And Noel Field looks like he's the guy who owns the shop. Yeah, um, yeah. So he's like, oh, fucking hell, girl. You can't be stealing stuff here. Get in the back, are you? And there's this bald guy in there. Oh my god, who speaks in a completely different fucking dialect. <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> So yeah, they go in the back and there's this bald, bald <laughs> random other dialect man who, um, <laughs> who just decides to have a wank over her. Oh man, so we, it just turns out he's a full on perv yeah. out of nowhere. And then spaffs all over a picture of Prince Harry as well, a framed photograph of <laughs> Prince Harry. Drains it Jesus. full of bollock yoghurt. <laughs> bollock yoghurt. <laughs> And then uh, we've got a return to UTG as well, Korf. It's been a while. I, I wrote this down as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go for it? All of a sudden, a cock is bitten off. Yes! <laughs> Just chomp and done. Like, wow. Oh, Back to zombie strippers once again. Ten episodes since then. Oh, how far we've come. And <laughs> <laughs> to films with no bloody language. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've realised all of a sudden they are cannibals. Yeah, because everyone's eating a barbecued leg. Yeah, I, I bet that leg would fit in the microwave massacre microwave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a crossover waiting to happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're handing this leg around. They've just barbecued it just by itself. But on the, on the side, they've made a full roast. <laughs> So they've like made Yorkshire puddings and everything, but they could they just shoved a leg in a barbecue and were like, we don't know how to cook this, but we can fucking make Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> and then what you were saying just then about the random naked rave. Yeah, people's dancing naked, and then there's like people playing the bongos, um, and then <laughs> someone just pissing on stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just what's happening? Like, what, what the fuck was the script like? I, you know what? I would love if someone from the Ghoul Gang, right, could track down the actual script of this film. I would oh my God. love to read that. We should act it out. <laughs> oh, that's definitely a special. If ever we set a Patreon up, that's what we're doing, mate. We're just going to do our <laughs> own narrations of famous horror films. <laughs> oh, what happens after that? Like, after the, the, the rave? After like... the rave. Isn't it where you've got all the lads playing, like, footy in the park and then they have a fight and one of them just gets their arm fucking ripped off I, I, honestly i don't i don't i don't remember how it comes to it i think uh the the main guy he falls asleep doesn't he and then the drawer on his face oh yeah <laughs> and then classic in prank. the morning he wakes up and he's he's spent like fucking three hours with this shit on his face and he only realizes that it's on his face when he gets out his phone <laughs> There's another thing that's got fucking phones! Yeah! <laughs> How do they text each other? What the fuck does a phone in this universe look like? <laughs> the 
the amount of questions that you get from this. Gee, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> It'll be like, imagine like a Blackberry where it's all the keys on the front, but every single one's just like wingdings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wingdings, man. <laughs> <laughs> he spent like three hours with that little whatever it is on his face. I don't know. He, he's like, he looks like Batman or something. <laughs> Fuck it. Really? And then he's like, oh my God, I look like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're suddenly like he wakes up, he gets annoyed at it. Him and his friend decide to become trackers to fucking track him down. Like the guy who drew on his face. Is that right? I don't know if that is true or it's just me making links out of nothing. Oh my God. A hmm. Another point later on, you've got a dead body. I can't remember who it is. It might be the guy who gets his arm ripped off and they have it <laughs> they have it in the kitchen and someone's playing the violin like a fucking how the fuck could she play a violin <laughs> <man>? <laughs> <laughs> what do the notes look like on the music sheets? <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna play this in uh, major <laughs> off and fry them and then just eat them before throwing the rest of his body in a wheelie bin. <laughs> And then we skip to a guy watching a chicken having an egg video on repeat. Oh my god, Kofi, this is my favourite thing in this film because it's got a little <laughs> jingle. And it does. I can't remember what it is, but I'm, I'll play it for the viewers now. But this jingle yeah. was in my head at work for about four days after I watched no this film. No way. Oh my goodness. What is it? It's like a stop motion chicken that like lays an egg and then it starts walking around the shopping center. <laughs> but then it switches the channel over and it's on every channel. There's only apparently only two programs, just tits cooking and chicken laying an egg. <laughs> What was your favourite of the two? Oh, it's the, I think it's the chicken. Oh, it's got to be the chicken, just because of the just, jingle. <laughs> yeah, the jingle made made it so much better for me. I was just going to say I don't really understand how the film ends, because, again, lack of sense, really. <laughs> well, isn't it um, Julian Barrett, who's the guy who's watching the chicken cartoon? He, like... <laughs> st- <laughs> fucking hell! I can't even read this note! <laughs> he just starts... <laughs> Hitting the walls with a button book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? And then after he's done his Battenberg painting, he just goes around stabbing everyone to death. Yeah, he just kills that main woman in the bed in her sleep, and then the rest of the people like, why? Yeah, no reason why. And then he just sits back down and sticks the chicken <laughs> program back on. And he watches it. And at that point, Kofi, right, I stood up and I just gave my telly a round of applause. <laughs> I could not believe what I had just seen. This is a short film. This is like an hour and 15 yeah. minutes or something. This felt like <laughs> yeah. I'd watched a fucking series of Prison Break. Like... <laughs> I felt like I thought that like a week had elapsed. Yeah, because we were trying to s- sit and figure out like what happened. Is there a way to summarize this? Um, people who can't talk do normal things completely abnormally. Do normal things and... completely abnormally. <laughs> <laughs> that, my friend, is the fucking textbook definition of this film. <laughs> I can't add to it. I can't. Li- I literally can't improve. That. Right, there we go, guys. That was mine and Kofi's. <laughs> Can you even call it a review? No, that's just the the thing that we did. Okay, that was mine and Kofi's thing that we did. <laughs> About <laughs> 2015's... Ah! Um, I think to keep on, on topic of the film and to, to explore artistically the true uh, the true meaning of, of the film, I think we should perform the outro this week uh, in the same language as Ah. So, Kofi, take it away with the outro to our review of Ah. I'm speaking in the bald man's dialect. <laughs> and thank you very much. <laughs> We're just leaving it there. We're just leaving it there. Oh, oh, lordy, lordy. See you next week, old gang. <laughs>